Alright, so today I want to talk about something very interesting, and it's regarding the ending of One Punch Man, and what the artist of the One Punch Man manga, Yusuke Murata, has said regarding it. But let me also say that there's going to be no spoilers in this video, so don't worry about that. And also, we don't know what's going to happen in the end. We don't really have a good idea yet. And I also want to say that One Punch Man isn't ending anytime soon. And I'm not just saying that to make you guys feel better or anything like that. It's just the truth. Like, it's going to be quite a bit before we get to that point. Even in the webcomic, let alone the manga. And that being said, like, the manga still has at least, like, another year, year and a half, maybe two years for it even to complete the current arc that it's in right now. Like with the Monster Association and all that stuff, not even to mention all of the stuff that happens after that in the webcomic, which is quite a bit, and manga is definitely going to even expand upon that. So it's gonna be like, I don't know, just taking a guess like a minimum of around four to five years for the manga to just get to where the webcomic is currently of chapter 116. Maybe a little less, but around that time. And then of course there's so much more that needs to happen in the story for it even to get to what the ending would be. So many unresolved storylines, so many things to touch on. So unless one decides to just rush everything and just to get it over with, even then it's going to take a little bit. So no worries, I just wanted to, you know, make you feel rest assured that it's not going to be ending anytime soon. And what we're going to be talking about today is just what Murata has said regarding it, and this stuff won't happen for a very long time. So last year on a stream, Murata said, one told me a little bit about the finale, or maybe I should say a bite before the finale, and I guess this means like a, a taste, like a little hint as to what it could be about. Uh, how would the last chapter look like? Would it touch on the secret of Saitama's power? Or it might also be nice if it stayed secret until the end. So he says more than this, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but I just want to focus on this for now, because this is very interesting in itself, as to where he's saying the secret of Saitama's power, which means that it could mean that there's more than what we already know, and I didn't expect that. I mean, I thought maybe we would expand upon what the limiter is, exactly how he removed it, and the exact power dynamic to it, but maybe that's what he was referring to here. It really means to be seen, but... I just thought that it was already kind of explained, you know, with Dr. Genus telling Zombie Man that Saitama removed his limiter, and that's how he became as strong as he was. He's essentially the only person, I guess, acknowledged in the history of mankind to have worked as hard as he has to be able to get to the point of power, to where he's just removing the cap that everyone reaches in their pursuit of absolute power, I suppose. And that is the reasoning why Saitama is as powerful as he currently is. Maybe I should make a video about the limiter and explaining it more in detail, but I just didn't think it was going to go any further than this. But what he's saying here might be the little thing that one might have hinted at what is going to happen in the end, possibly. And it makes sense, considering that it is One Punch Man, and the whole narrative of the story is Saitama being absurdly powerful, so much so that it's comical compared to the other characters in the series, regardless of how powerful they appear to be. But then, of course, we had the latter statement, or it might also be nice if it stays a secret until the end. And I really wouldn't be mad at that. Like, if we just never find out anything more about the limiter or Saitama's exact power dynamic, that would be fine. I don't really think it's essential that it's, like, quantified to an exact science. Like, we know every single detail about it and how it came to be. I think Dr. Genus telling us what he did is more than enough. But let me know what you guys think about this. I might be in the minority here. So now let's get into the other thing that he has said. And this is what I was talking about in the title of the video. This is going to be what his thoughts are on the ending. So first, before I get into the meat of this, which is very controversial, and I'm certainly going to get my opinion on it, I want to touch on the first thing that he says here. So somebody else in the stream said, maybe elements of Saitama weakening. This is a response to what we just talked about with the secret of his power being revealed or whether it is or not. And Murata said, ah, possibly. Say if the god who gave Homeless Emperor power also gave Saitama power and then Saitama defeated that god. 
So this is what I feel most of us believe is what is going to happen. So of course he's talking about the character or the entity God that we saw in chapter 113 revealed in the flashback that Homeless Emperor uh, when he was giving the exposition and telling his story to Zombie Man about how he gained his power. And if you would like more information on this and the general idea of where I feel things are headed, uh, please check out my video, Saitama's Final Opponent in One Punch Man. That video, however, will contain spoilers, but like I said, this one will not. And also, as I was saying, I feel that this is likely going to be Saitama's Final Opponent, other than just his name is friggin' God. <laughs> So come on, I mean, there doesn't really seem to be anyone that is more powerful than that. And let me also say that I don't think this character is like the god, like the religious god or whatever that is. I think it's just the name of this character. But he is otherworldly powerful, ethereal, fourth dimensional, if you will. But this is where I'm going to begin to disagree with Murata. And I'm going to disagree with the rest of the things that he's going to say here. But I don't want this to be true. I really wouldn't like it if God was responsible for Saitama's power, or if he somehow granted him the power to remove his limiter, or if he removed his limiter himself. I think that would kind of ruin the narrative here. Like, it was all built up to Saitama being just an average person. No real special potential, didn't come from a wealthy family, didn't really come from anything. I mean, we don't know anything about his family. It's possible Saitama is an orphan for all we know. But it's just the whole narrative of him working for what he got. It's but anyway, Murata goes on to say, then Saitama loses his power, loses his memories, his hair grows back, and lives a normal life after that. But he still wants to be a hero, so he starts by doing some hero activities in the community. Then one customer comes up to him, that'll be Genos, who also turned back to a normal person. Please take me as your disciple. Uh, no, I'm super weak. I have nothing to teach you. Then Genos drops a stack of money and Saitama goes, Did you bring your toothbrush? Ha 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 ha. Then One Punch Man ends. Normal Saitama and normal Genos. Two of them continue their hero activities for fun. So before I even go further, let me just reiterate one more time that this is just Murata's opinion, his own theory on what could possibly happen in the end of One Punch Man, or at least I really hope it is. I hope that this isn't him accidentally spilling the beans here about what one has possibly told him. And let me also mention that Murata has accidentally slipped up on stream before. He has told us two things that were going to happen that still have ramifications to this day. I just hope that this isn't the case because while this is cute and it's fun and it would probably make a better OVA non-canon or maybe just like a fever dream that Saitama has or just a dream that Genos has if this is how One Punch Man ends I would not like this I think it would likely ruin the entire series if this were to happen I mean of course it wouldn't negate everything that has happened before that because that's all wonderful and this won't change that but I just I don't feel that I'm alone in thinking that the ending of a series can just ruin the entire thing. Like what was the point of all of this if it was just going to culminate to nothing? Especially when it didn't seem like it was headed in this direction at all, at least in my opinion. Now granted, I know that there's probably a lot of people out there who like this ending and who want to see something like this have happened and probably even theorize themselves that it would. And that's fine. Yeah, it's subjective the reception of this and just the reception of an ending of a series in general, and I completely understand that, but just me personally, I think this would leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So to cap off this video, I'll say how I feel the series should end, and let me put it out there that I'm not a writer at all. I'm no better than anyone who is even close to being a professional in that field. I'm just a stupid YouTuber, but I really feel that the series should come to an end with Saitama taking on God, which is, you know, hinted at in the beginning here. And that God pushes Saitama the farthest he has ever been pushed, gives him a fight to where Saitama actually has to try, and it gives him that rush that he had been chasing after since he had removed his limiter. You know, that feeling of excitement and purpose and meaning that we kind of saw him feel in the dream against the subterraneans, except he actually feels that and experiences it in reality. And when he actually does take out God, it's almost like Saitama has reached his climax. 
<laughs> if you will. And one way or another in the process, humanity acknowledges Saitama as the one above all. Like there is no one left in doubt about his greatness and that his hero name changes from Bald Cape or Cape Baldy to the One Punch Man or One Punch Man. And that's it. He's achieved everything he's ever wanted to achieve, essentially, but with no strings attached. And now that he has come to his climax, like I said, he feels satisfied. And he doesn't really have to keep chasing after that feeling anymore. He doesn't really have to just aimlessly keep killing monsters. He could probably just sit back and be the seeker weapon for the Hero Association, or whatever the hero hierarchy is going to be at that point in the story. Uh, it, like an S-Class rank zero, if you will, and we don't even know if the S-Class is going to be around there, but I'm just saying that for now. And he kind of just sits back and waits for when something comes around to where he's needed. Almost kind of like the position that Blast is implied to have right now. And I feel that that would be a great ending. Like, Saitama doesn't have to lose his power. I feel that it's like Saitama should just achieve what he has always wanted and, and get it, you know? Because why not? And maybe he even ends up with Fubuki one way or another in the end, too. Because I feel that he should definitely have a good woman by his side. Uh, not Tatsumaki. She should just be with Blast or somebody else. I don't know. But I, I feel that Saitama should just win in the end and not lose his power and lose his memories. I just think that would ruin everything. But yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments. How do you feel the series is going to end, or just how would you want it to end if you could choose? And if you liked it, please give it a like, guys. I also have a Patreon, gives you access to a weekly Q&A, and if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.